And what would your advice be then to aspiring prof- people who want to work in the sustainability sector yes. or the energy transition? What's what's your advice to these people that they want to work in the sector? Um, yeah, can you give yeah. me just one or two or three points? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the three points. So I mean, I won't I won't say the obvious, which is obviously to take your course and uh, and do that. But um, aside from aside from the obvious, I think there's a couple of practical things that that I think is really helpful. One is is to actually re- re- the the simplistic thing of actually like read Renew Economy every day. So Renew New Economy is a fantastic website, all to do with the energy efficiency, the you know the energy transition, what's going on in the in the grid. Um, they have art, you know a dozen, half a dozen articles come out every single day about what's going on. So I think the more you can sort of get yourself up to scratch about what's happening in the network in terms of also new tech. That's a great way because then whenever you meet someone, you've actually got something relevant um, to ask some questions about depending on what, which area of field they're in. Um, uh, the second thing I was going to is, is it link, LinkedIn is a fantastic place um, to a, get get news, to learn about new 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 tech and things going on in the market. Um, and and sort of on the back of that is also an opportunity to expand your your personal networks. As, I mean, ultimately, like everything, it's it's a people. It's a people business, so the more people you 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 know or follow or have some sort of insights to what they're up to, um, the the more chance you are of, of finding a, a role in a desirable spot, um, whether it's through a bit of serendipity or um, just through actually you know reaching out reaching out direct. So I would encourage people yeah to be on almost LinkedIn every day just to sort of get so so rather than scrolling scrolling through TikTok, that would be my um, that would be my my suggestion. Um, and I guess the the you know the third the third thing is 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 again it's it's that sort of cliche sort of you know reaching out with your own with your own internal network and and seeing who knows who and uh, and and I guess trying to reflect on where you've actually got an interest um, in the energy space because it's so broad from the the sustainability side through to the energy transition right through to more of the you know the social governance side depending on where you spit on the spectrum so there's there's you've kind of ideally sort of know where you're most interested in playing and then sort of follow follow that path right right so so to summarize know where you want to play follow that path probably you let us right at the start get some sort of uh go do some short course or get some sort of certification in that area um uh if you're in Australia in particular, go to Re- Re- Renew Economy Every Day, which is a fantastic website. I agree with you. Um, and also, even if you're overseas, but it's mostly focused on the energy transition in Australia. Um, and then also the third one was, you know, Leverage LinkedIn. Yeah, I think great advice. Thank you.